Sarah Pierce for the Storytellers Lounge. Today I'm with Joyce Goldstein. Joyce is basically a self-taught artist with some experience at the Brooklyn Museum. She's a sculptor, a collage artist, a painter, but she's also a family therapist together with her husband, Ira, a community organizer who founded Art by the Ferry and the Arts Council. I'm at her home and we're having tea and a lovely conversation. I thought you might like to join us. Take a little more look at her art. I asked her how she made her art. Something in my gut that I want to express. And I just start thinking about what colors and what am I going to make it with, and and I have a lot of different materials in my in my studio. Well, I have oil paint, gouache, acrylics, watercolors, but I wind up doing collage. I wound up learning how to make paper. Um, Do you have a theme for your for for your work? Things that move me emotionally usually, something beautiful in nature. Um, stuff I've seen. Uh, I studied at the Brooklyn Museum Art School and it was with Sierra Budway, who was a surrealist. And he encouraged me to just do whatever, whatever came to me. Did you draw as a child? I always drew uh, a lot of things from nature. I go to the empty lot in my neighborhood and just sit on the ground and draw leaves and trees and yeah. <laughs> so when you put your pieces together, I noticed that you were able just to hang the paper, not framed. Right. Well, that's what's great about good handmade paper. It's got so much substance to it. Because I think you're a community builder. Yeah, I am. Would you get up one morning and go, we don't have this, I think I'll help people get it. You're right. <laughs> Is that what you do? Well, I worked in poverty programs. Mm-hmm. I worked for Catholic Charities, um, taught at the college. And I was with a lot of people that were making a lot of inroads, doing things in, in, in the 60s. I'm really an old hippie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had very little art training. What does it mean you had very little art training? Did, did that matter to you? Yeah, because you want to know how to use the materials. How did you learn to do it? Messing around with it. <laughs> And I was good friends with Herman Zaga, and he was sort of a mentor to me. Through Herman, I met a lot of people. It was just kind of a natural flow. Mm -hmm. Herman really started the art lab, and there'd be a model, and we'd all go over and draw and take a class, and yeah. So it sounds really great. It sounds... Community. This is a very warm environment here. I wanted to come back. I was here yesterday because her husband Ira is a poet, and he will also be on the Storytellers Lounge. I sort of feel like we're all in this together. Here we are. Your pieces, they are, they're hanging in your studio. Um, do you do you like to sell them or do you care if you sell them? Oh, I like selling them. I'd like them to be in other people's houses. <laughs> yeah. And I've had shows in Manhattan and in Europe. We're not on Facebook or Instagram. No. If we wanted to buy something you made, how would we do that? A studio. Make a studio visit. Oh, we go to your studio. Yeah. Knock on the door. Yeah. Would you make something special for someone's home? Sure. If they ask I you. have. I have done that. Do yeah. people tell you their favorite colors or something? Or do you work no, they, that way? They'll have something they want that they're interested in, that they like. And they'll say, would you make a piece like that one over there with water and, you know, vegetation and, and, I'll, and I'll make something. Yeah. So how long does it take you to make a piece? It depends on how complicated it is, how large. When I get going, I really get going. I'll stay up all night painting. Oh, you will? Yeah, I get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know when your piece is finished? It's gut, my gut. Your creative in many ways. And you work as a family therapist with your husband. Right. 
And is creativity involved with your work with people? I think it is. I think when you're a family therapist, you have to think of original ways to help people get out, out of being stuck and to open their hearts a little bit and open their minds to another way of communicating. We work a lot on communication. Exactly. And be open to each other's feelings. Uh, okay. Um, this is sort of a sideways thing. Do you ever get stuck on your art? In the sense that I don't know what the next step is? Yes. Once in a blue moon. But usually I get so carried away. I tend to stay with stuff for hours. So um, you don't, you often don't make a piece, leave it. Right. For like months and then come back. Once in a while that would happen, but... Is, is there anything else we should talk about? In terms of the creative process? Yes. I think I like trusting my body. It very often tells me whether I really like what I'm doing or not. So where in your body? Is it your head? Uh, no, if, I, if I'm breathing clearly without obstruction, if I'm not getting tense and I'm enjoying what I'm doing, I get caught up in the flow of it, then I know it's going to be okay. So, uh, Joyce, I want to thank you so much for the uh, conversation, for the tea and crackers and cheese <laughs> and, and your company. It's thank you. really been a pleasure for me. You can visit Joyce at her studio. It's directly over the art lab. You walk up a few steps. She's with a community of artists. And you know how Joyce makes community. These are warm, engaging people who all support each other.